Future City is one of the biggest STEM competitions in North America, and it's specifically for middle school students. And this year, students from Al Hadi School in Houston made it all the way to the international competition in Washington, D.C. Here to share more is Future City teacher Sadiqa Shanawaz. Thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you so much for having us. Congratulations. So Thank you. Thank this you. is Thank amazing. So super exciting, huh? Okay, so Pretty tell us so about Al-Hadi School first off. So Al-Hadi School actually was established in 1996. It's a small community school, it's a private school. And then uh, we started, you know, participating in the Future City competition since 1998, 99. So it's almost been like 25 years wow. now. And uh, yeah, it's just been growing since then. There have been like multiple teachers teaching. I'm not that old. <laughs> but, <laughs> don't but like I mean, it. You uh, don't this like is it. my fifth year, and it's the fourth time we went to Washington, D.C. Okay. So super, super wow. excited. Yeah, we're going to talk with some of the teams about what they've done, and this is one of the models here. But for those that don't know, what is this Future City competition? OK, so this was organized by Discover E organization. So Future City falls under their umbrella. And every year, they challenge middle school students, grades 6, 7, and 8, to imagine a city 100 years in the future that solves a problem that we are facing today. So every year, they have a different theme. Like last year, it was climate change. Once we had public spaces, once we had age-friendly cities. This year, it was all about clean energy. Oh, wow. So to transition. So what they do is they pick a location on Earth that has a lot of issues with pollution and like, you know, um, other energy related problems and then they find a place and they start redesigning it. They come up with solutions and uh, not only that, they go into agriculture of the city, how tall the building should be, where to keep the residents, where to keep the industrial area, you know, all the different. So it's like a very comprehensive that program. That is incredible. And yeah. How, how do the competitions work? How are the, how are the projects judged? So there is an essay that students write based on all the research they do, and it's a 1,500-word essay. So it's pretty challenging. Yeah. That gets submitted. They, students create a project plan. Like, literally, they're like little businessmen starting from day one and how and where to end the project. And then we have uh, a model, mm -hmm. and they create a seven-minute presentation that they present all the solutions to the judges. And uh, then they have a question and answer session, which is really intense. And, you know, they get through a lot of uh, grilling, like, you know, how is your city accessible to everyone, things like that. So, how are the, th yeah. how are the <laughs> themes chosen uh, year to year? Is that something the competition decides, or the, are the students challenged to come up with what are the issues that need to be solved? So, uh, the theme is given by Future City, and as they look into areas to rebuild and redesign, they come across other things as well. So some uh, areas like this city had like flood issues. So we were like, not only electricity, we get into floods and we get into zoning and land surveying and it just keeps going from there. Then we think about climate change and how like warm weather is affecting like the marine life and you know, lakes. so yeah. <laughs> this, this is sparking so much in our young minds, in the children's you know, minds and the way to approach a problem, but also you said businessmen and business women and how they're going to create these cities and create these buildings. Talk mm -hmm. about how awesome that is. It is wonderful. I've seen students change through this program and um, a few days ago, a colleague of mine, like you know, told me that her son, who was in Future City a few years ago, is now a civil engineer, and uh, it, you know, it introduces kids, mm -hmm. and especially I'm seeing more and more, it introduces girls to new STEM careers, and which is amazing. Yeah. And, so. and how did the teams do this year, regionally, nationally? How did you guys do? We won our regionals, which yeah. took place at NASA, okay, yes. and then we were at DC, the entire Houston team, and uh, over there we placed fourth, okay. and these were our little sixth graders, those little munchkins yeah. running around. And, <laughs> and they incredible. were curious about everything. They wanted to know everything about geothermal energy and this and that, and they were like, can we do this also? Can we also get wind? Can we also get solar? I'm like, let's just do whatever their mentor says yeah. is possible yeah. for your city. So it was it was a fun experience. Very advanced for, for children of that age, huh? I'm thinking of sixth graders dealing with really some and big topics. Yeah. Right, and honestly, a huge shout out to people at Discover E for organizing this. A lot of the judges, I 
executives at like Shell and mm -hmm. you know other big corporations. So for kids to talk to them and you know people who have spent their lives in the engineering background and to convince them that these solutions are really good, it's something really amazing. And they're seeing and the talent amazing. of the future right, too, right? Right. Uh -huh. Got to listen. That's great. We'll be hearing from some of the students too and how you know how this has helped them and changed them as well. But I want to thank you, Sadiqa Shanawas, for Absolutely. joining us Absolutely. and tell us about this awesome competition.